Hello there. Just finished snow blowing uh, another uh, main snowstorm with my Kubota B7800 and my brand new uh, Curtis cab. Uh, latest addition uh, to this Curtis cab uh, that I just installed this past week are these two universal mirrors from, from Curtis. Bought these online. Uh, got ready to install them and I uh, found that I had uh, difficulty trying to figure out how to install them on this tractor. Uh, the instructions are uh, provided by Curtis with the mirrors. They're in black and white. Uh, the uh, some of them show uh, one of the pages show the uh, the uh, bolting up of the mirrors to the brackets. Uh, not too uh, self-intuitive here, at least for me. Uh, I went through the instructions to uh, one of the follow-on pages, and here's a picture of them uh, mounted on a typical tractor. Uh, as you can see, they're in black and white, and uh, I, I can't even see the mirror on here. So it, to me, it wasn't very useful as far as uh, how they mount. Uh, the picture of the bracket here, uh, for me, uh, was a little bit difficult to uh, understand, too. Uh, I called uh, Curtis and uh, tried to get some information from them, at least some uh, color pictures of uh, the uh, installation of these on a typical Curtis cab. Uh, I was somewhat uh, disappointed and they didn't have any pictures. Uh, I talked to their technical department, so uh, again, they were difficulty have coming up with some pictures. So I was basically uh, back to on my own. Again, I couldn't find anything on Google. I uh, searched these. All I could find was pictures of Curtis cabs and so forth. So uh, basically, I went from there and uh, decided I guess I got to bite the bullet and figure out this on my own. Uh, looking at this view of how the, these brackets mount to the mirrors, uh, it would uh, lead me to believe that the, the mirror itself uh, bolts to the flat side, the rectangular side of these brackets. They have a flat side and an angular side. Uh, so it looks like it would bolt right directly on, but that's not the case. Uh, what happens is you're supposed to bolt the, the uh, mirror to this angular side. I'll show you right here. Here's a picture of the bolt up, uh, how I installed it. Go around the other side, you can see uh, how it bolts on. So if you do the same for each side, uh, it bolts on so that the high side, the, the wide side of this angular piece is on the top. And you use uh, the cap screws that are provided, uh, the shortest ones. Here's the rectangular side of, of the bracket also. Uh, these bolt holes, by the way, are, are the same uh, diameter here, distance apart, as they are on the other side. So that's what uh, was a little confusing to me as far as which way these things go uh, and where they mount. So once I got past that, uh, of course, the instructions are pretty clear on what bolts to use. Uh, you use the quarter, all of these are quarter 20 uh, cap screws. Uh, you use the quarter 20 three quarter inch to uh, bolt these on and you use flat washes that are supplied. Uh, they give you quite an extensive uh, uh, fastener kit here uh, because these uh, mirrors are intended to go on, on numerous applications. Uh, so once I got the brackets on uh, and I put them in place, I decided that uh, I had it correct. Then the uh, next step was to uh, place them on, on the, uh, the cab itself. You can uh, put them in two places. You can, you can mount them on the side here, anywhere up along this, this uh, main frame. Uh, you can also mount them on the doors, but since I have a soft cab and I intend to take these doors off during the summertime, I decided that wasn't going to be a good solution. I want the mirrors on in the summertime, and if they get in the way, if I'm going in the woods and so forth, I can just swing them out of the way. So I decided that uh, the mirrors were going to go on the main frame, about this height here. Uh, I wanted to be able to see out through the cab. I wanted them as low as possible so I could see down below uh, my snow on my snow below where the snow blower is tracking. So I lowered the mirrors as far as I could so that they're just above the solid uh, opaque portion of this cab. Uh, looking out through from the seat, I can come right down at the right angle here. So the uh, instructions uh, recommend you have two people uh, work on these to, uh, to uh, get them placed. But if you have any clamps at all, this is definitely a one-person operation. Uh, you can use C-clamps to hold these in place. 
Uh, I have welding clamp, so I just basically uh, put the welding clamp right on here like this, latched it, held it in place, uh, positioned it where I wanted, and then I drilled the two holes right here, uh, a little bit oversized, a 64th oversized, uh, right through the middle. I moved them out uh, as far as I could that way, so they were pretty much uh, in the center here. Once you get your holes drilled, then you use two more cap screws right here. Uh, these cap screws are the quarter, 20, inch and a quarter long, and you basically just put the nuts on the back side, as you can see right here. I didn't use any flat washers on either side. Uh, I didn't want flat washers on this side specifically because these heads, since these heads protrude out, they're right behind the, the rubber on the door frame. So when you shut your door, you can see that the the, raw, the rubber on the door seal is right up against those. So on this side of the cab, uh, I'm not sure uh, what happened here. Uh, when I put the cab on, installed the windshield, everything appeared to be fine. The other side went on fine, but when I installed this side, uh, the wind windshield frame was over here just a little bit too far, and it had difficulty uh, shutting the front windshield uh, because it was hitting here uh, on this uh, on this part of the bracket. Uh, I had an idea, okay, I'll just move that out away from uh, the windshield, and I put some washers in behind here. Uh, but lo and behold, that's, that's a non-starter because when you shut the door, the bracket's out too far and it hits your door. So it uh, doesn't work very well that way. So I took those off. My solution was just to put this bracket in a vise, and I bent it from this angle, this point right here, forward. So I pulled it out away from the windshield, and you can see the, the windshield rubber is still uh, a little crimped right here, but, but it works and it's going to close. Uh, I could bend this a little bit more. But. So that's the installation. It's pretty easy. Again, uh, you, know, you can mount these any way you want along this, along this framework, uh, top to bottom. Uh, some people might elect to put them up here, but uh, I chose to put them down there. Uh, so in the end, it's a fairly simple solution. Uh, or installation once you get past uh, the first part of the instructions. So there they are. Uh, hope you find this useful. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to post this on the internet and uh, probably be the, about the only ones on the internet uh, for now as far as uh, how to install these. So I hope you find this useful. Thanks and have a good day.